all sorts of zombies dying. Where are they dying? Oop. Oh, let's check. Hang on. Oh, monsters enabled. Sure, that'll work. Is that all we got outside? There's somebody standing on top of my head. Who's that? Oh, lovely. Take care of this crap right now. Whoop! That just put it into my inventory. That get on my pants. Oh no, those are feet. These are pants. This is a chest plate. Here we go. Okay, I need stuff. Uh, I need that. And maybe that. And probably not that. I'll take it anyway. And who's up there? This feels like a creeper run. And it could be. Oh. Is he following me? Is he following me? Really? It's a rat. Well, hello, ladies and germs. This is Dead Linux, and I just wanted to give a status update. I did some cleanup of the hidey hole. I wanted to give you a, a video for the week. So we have to. Oh, really? You know what he looks like? He looks like a pair of boots, is what he looks like. Come here. Let's see, can I track him down here? Oh, I know I can. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I know you can see me. Well, why don't you jump? Jump. Oh, he's not going to jump down. That's... Oh, come on. Come get me. Oh. <sighs> come on. Wolves. <sighs> this is why we have the shovel. Alright. Even if you can't path down to me, I can hit you from here. Gotcha. Oh, oh, we're gonna do this, huh? Oh, that's right. And, oh, no wolf skin. Shoot, that guy had boots all over him. Anyway, so, made a few changes. I've gotten a few updates, and I think I finally got back to where I was when I had the uh, old hidey hole. And check it out! Made a few improvements, don't you think? I've added to the waterfall a little bit, so it looks a little bit more uh, impressive. I've done a lot of caving and put in some flooring, all sorts of stuff. So what I want to do is show you around. So first off, let me show you my gear. And I put in some steel doors. A lot more secure this time. Oh, that's annoying. A lot more secure this time around. So I've dug it out, made it into a kind of a house. I have no paintings up or any seats or chairs or anything like that. That'll come. But I've got the corridors and the basic setup in, and I've got lots of torches. It just always seemed like it was getting really dark, so I kept putting torches down. So this nice glass face in the front here, so I can see what's outside. Nice water wall, uh, you know, not, nothing like, you know, Doc M does his water walls, and they're really impressive. This is nothing like that, but kind of nice. Nice lava light in the center. I found a lava source block just below uh, this cave, and I kept hearing it pop. So um, I grabbed the source block and put it up here. So it's still the same one, so it's kind of nice that way. And uh, there were some mobs that were hanging up below. There was a cave system below here. And they were really annoying at night. So I decided to um, flood them with lava. So now they're all dead. Ah, but here's the workshop. So we are well on our way. So I've cleared all this whole area out. And let me show you kind of what we've got so far. We've got inst industrial craft up and running. And this time I've got a geothermal generator. Um, I got a regular generator going and then I upgraded it to a geothermal generator. And the reason was why is that lava, when you're first starting out, is still fairly plentiful if you dig deep enough. And I did dig and find a lava field. So you can get, let's see, for, you know, four pieces of tin, you get 16 cells. Well, let me to demonstrate here. Do I have any tin? Um, let's see. Yeah, here it is. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, if we put in and make some cells, like so, and we fill these with lava, then we get about 20,000 uh, oh, EUs, I think. 
Do we have any EU indicators? We don't. Um, altogether, um, depending on how what the generator is putting it out as, we get about 20,000 per lava cell, as opposed to coal, which I'm not sure how many it produces, but it's like what in the five, three to five k. So we've got about what six times as much, six and change as much energy per lava cell, and lava cells are easy to find, or easy to get, because all you do is basically take the lava cell and start clicking on lava all over the place, and it's like, you know, glor it's like a lava bucket, a safe lava bucket. You just dump them in here, and as you can see, I still have quite a bit of lava. This will actually last a very long time. And I've only got three machines running, so I can have them all running, and this thing still doesn't put out enough. So it's actually a really easy way to have a lot of energy really quick early game, and not run out of coal, and you're using up lava. And lava's dangerous as it is, so you're clearing out, clearing out the fields below you. So I've got my extractor set up, got my macer, uh, macerator, and I've got my electric furnace. Now I was trying another thing here. Uh, for a while, and you'll see I've got, I've also got some of the iron chest mods. I've got an iron chest here from the iron chest mod, excuse me. And this has, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, what, six times nine, what was that, 48 slots? Um, wait, no, that's not right, is it? Yeah. No, 52. I can't, 54 slots. Um, so that's kind of nice that way. And then we have the gold chest here, which took a lot of upgrading to do. And also keep in mind that the uh, NEI doesn't know this recipe. I don't know why that is, but it does not know the recipe. You're going to have to look it up on the wiki for this. But as you see here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we've got, oh, what is it, 9 times 9, 81 slots in here. Nice big chest. And uh, can hold a lot of stuff. Plus, we got our alchemical chest, which of course is huge into its own right. But we've also got one of my favorite items in here, which is the talisman of repair. So this is actually where I dump all my uh, my weapons and things at the end of the day. And I've also collected uh, a lot of strange items for thumbcraft research. Oh, and I also found this guy. We'll talk about this guy in a second. Got some uh, uh, thumbcraft going on. But anyway, so we've got the basics set up for industrial craft. I've got uh, a lot of storage space in a very small amount. Now, let's see. I did dig through here and got to the back. And you'll see we got a nice little oil field there for build craft power. We have uh, our reed field sort of set up. And it's uh, not really a farm because it's not really, it's still kind of in the wild. And then we've got most of the entrances to the hidey hole sort of close. The hidey hole is all back here. All this is all hidey hole. Oh, the music's still on. Hang on. Sorry. So this is all hidey hole. So this actually goes all the way through here. So we're taking advantage of quite a bit of space. So we may eventually run out, which means we'll have to expand in short order soon enough. But so it's kind of nice that way. So I can fish out here. It's fairly protected. Um, and I don't have to walk all the way around the mountain to get back in because obviously I've got just a straight path through. So, kind of cool. Um, let's see, so I showed you the industrial craft part. Oh, I know what I was going to try. Check this out. There was a one item I was going to play with. Ooh, keep skipping. Which was this guy, the pulverizer. Now, last time I was looking at it, and it looked as though it was going to be pretty easy to make. And it is. They are very easy to make. Machine chassis, that's nothing. Um, and then the redstone power coil, that's nothing. But what I've learned is that these are basically build craft equivalents for industrial craft. So the pulverizer is basically the macerator, but with cheaper items. Well, about the same. But the problem is they use build craft power. And I tried to get away with it using a bunch of redstone engines. Um, and there's a should be a stack of them in here. Where am I looking? Here we go. Yeah, stack of three. This was not many at all. Hang on, let me, sorry, let me just do this. And so I was going to use it, It. I didn't have enough power or en enough resources to actually make it feasible, so I went back to industrial craft because I knew I had coal. And build craft doesn't take coal except for uh, heavier duty machines, and I didn't want to sacrifice that much iron, but then I did anyway. So really, it ended up to be about the same. I guess I was just more, in uh, more comfortable with industrial craft. Basically, the uh, the pulverizer comes from the thermodynamics mod. 
And if you do not have industrial craft, but you have build craft, I recommend installing the um, the uh, thermodynamics mod, just because it it gives you those machines and you can become a little bit more efficient. But the thing that I do not like is you have the chance to produce. Oh, where is it? Something that's called rare earth. This thing. This has no use as of yet. So normally with industrial craft, when you when you grind up one piece of ore, you get two dust, right? With the pulverizer, you have the chance to produce rare earth, which means you don't have as great of an efficiency with it. And maybe there's a way around that. Um, I really like the machine. I mean, it's got some great options to it. Um, and actually, let me show you. This thing is actually pretty cool. If only I could use it. Check this out. We have all these different tabs. So this tells you how much is actually storing, like as far as actual energy units is concerned. We have the red power switches here. Um, but this is the coolest part, configuration. You can actually change where stuff goes where, and it's just amazing. So I would highly recommend if you have Buildcraft, please play with this. This is amazing. But it just I just don't have the uh, resources yet. I'm not that rich yet. So um, it's going to have to stay, and uh, we'll pick it up later. Nice thing about it, though, is when you, keep, uh, when you break it with the pickaxe, it doesn't break. Whereas with these guys, you need to have a wrench. So... Yeah. So follow me so far? Okay. Now, next few things. Two more things to show you, quickly. Got Thomcraft set up here. Um, this is the, what is this? This is the Thaumatic Infuser. And if you're not familiar with this, you should check out some YouTube videos and see it. Um, I just love the actual graphics of it. This is one of the cleanest things I have seen in any of these mods in a long time. I think it just looks pretty. But we've got the Thaumatic Crucible next to it. So you know, I can dump stuff into here, it produces viz, and the viz powers this thing. And we've been able to get the uh, the two items that you saw here, the taint detector and the viz detector there, so that we can get those nice little bars in the corner um, way down here. Uh, that tells us that the light purple one's the good stuff, the black one is the bad stuff, and we've still got a little bad taint in the area. Um, we're jumping around all the time, but I have so many viz crystals around here, so I think I should be okay. But there was a tainted one over here that I broke uh, underneath this green one. I mean, this this world has a lot of crystals in it. Anyway, long story short, uh, that's where I made them is through this. Now this little guy over here is a uh, it's a what is this a condenser I think? Yeah, viz condenser, and this slowly pulls viz out of the atmosphere very very slowly um, as you can see right now it's not really pulling any because there's no reason really to pull any um, I'm not sure I, I still don't know about this mod too much uh, so I'm still learning but uh, we're learning as we go you know and we're seeing how things go from there uh, so this is kind of that room that's gonna be set up and I think I may put some uh, maybe my enchantment table will come in here maybe I'll put some bookshelves in I'm not sure uh, filled it all in with white marble put it in the brick um, we'll see what happens. Now, the other thing I want to show you is this. This is from Mistcraft. Now, this thing is the notebook. Now, the notebook, uh, well, this is the writing desk, I should say. And this is the notebook, uh, right up here, the notebook. Now, the notebook is used to keep track of all the different worlds you've been to, and I've been through three of them, four of them so far. And those worlds are actually, I'm keeping the books in these, this chest here. So I'll show you these. Now I don't have the linking books, and I'm not going to tell you how the whole mod works, but I want to play with this more because this is really interesting. So we've explored a bunch of different worlds that have rivers, plains, oceans, desert hills, extreme hills, all the different biomes, and here is the, the type of biomes. So this keeps track of what the worlds had in them. And then we can put these up here, and we can actually see what they're going to have in them. And I think you can actually create a world of your own if you really wanted to. I'm not sure how that works. Um, but this one was kind of cool. So this is actually has a mushroom island on it, but it's in twilight, so a lot of mobs spawn. So this is going to be something that I'll be playing with later on. Uh, what I, but I'm not going to be playing with it until I find one particular biome, and that's a cave world. Cave worlds with eternal daylight. They are amazing. They have few mobs, but they have all the stuff and you're at level like 12 and so you can find a lot of resources really easily and it's just amazing they're really fun 
and it's really a way to become uh, really loaded with a lot of interesting crap quickly. So we'll play around with that. So that's part two. So now the last thing here uh, is just some of the items I've found. Um, did some caving. I got my little um, my little mine shaft going straight down. I don't like this at all, but it's the quickest way to go. I went straight down. I would like to get like a automatic like cart, one, one of Steve's carts. I really want to play with Steve's carts. I'm going to make one, I think. I'm going to have it dig through here and create a mine shaft for me. Uh, all lit up and everything. Uh, it's a little safer than this guy. This guy's kind of sketchy. But there's lava down there, so it's pretty useful. little farm in here for food. Um, but that's basically what I've got set up so far. So this will be the, the grounding for going forward in the future. And one of the things that I found already, that's one of the beautiful things of Thalmcraft, um, is this. You get special items occasionally. And I found this in one of the dungeons from the Better Dungeons mod, which randomly puts chests throughout the place. And this is the Shovel of Renewal. Now the Shovel of Renewal has basically the same ability as a Destruction Catalyst for anything that can be scooped by a shovel. So it'll go by a 9x9 nine nine square, depending on the layer, and it'll just scoop the whole layer out. So check this out. Don't do that. Give me that. So you see, it tried to take out the stone and everything too, but of course it can't because it's not, it's it's a shovel, it's not a pickaxe. So very handy uh, for collecting sand, uh, for cleaning out your, for cleaning out this place, it was amazing. And now that I've got my talisman of repair, I can just dump the guy back in here and get it all powered back up again. So it's really nice. Um, also found a place with a lot of taint into it, so we're going to have to explore that later on. But that's kind of where we're at, so I just want to give a quick update and to show you the show you around the place. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So anyway, uh, keep watching, uh, or at least check in. Check out the, the older videos, and uh, you can see how I got here. And I hope to keep this world, so I don't see that um, uh, the Technic Pack is going to be updating anytime soon, so we should be safe. And uh-oh. Ooh. Uh, so we should be okay with playing with this world for a long time. Um, oh, and the other thing I gotta show you: croc legs. That's right. Leather pants. And killing myself some crocodiles. So I got myself some leather pants. That's right. I'm just saying, you gotta do that if you're playing the Technic Pack. You gotta get yourself some leather pants. So we'll talk to you guys later. And. Um, what? What are you? Where are you going? He's gonna go take a swim in my pool, isn't he? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh, all right. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.